How's it going everybody? Welcome back to The Sims freaking 4! And why is the rocket just floating in the air? But anyway, it's been so long. And I decided, you know what? Let's come back to The Sims 4. Even though there is a busted glitch that's making Sims hate each other for no reason. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, I actually have some new DLC, and I think we need to make our friend Michael, Michael frickin' Rosen, mm. become a vampire. That's right, Michael, nice. a vampire. Hooray! He's pretty tired, but if we make him a vampire, no, yes. he would be immortal. So that means we will no longer have to worry about constantly buying potions of youth more Michael Rosen. And we can focus on spending on his satisfaction points on getting a very special reward. The money tree. That is really going to help our income. We can use some easy money. And since we have a spellcaster we can duplicate the seeds. So that means we'll get even more money. And each tree grows 5,000 simoleons a day. So if we manage to successfully clone them, we'll have 10,000 to 15 to 20. Five trees is enough to get you by. Wait, did I already have one? Oh, I did plant a money tree in the last episode. That was, wow. Am I behind? Anyway, Michael still needs 8,000 more similes to complete his fabulously wealthy thingy. And then, we need to find ourselves a vampire. Purchase vampire tombs. Yes, Michael needs to study vampires. Nah, it'll be too easy. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Travis should we make Travis immortal too should we make him a vampire as well huh? we pretty much ruined this poor bastard's life we uh, come into his home we make him super skinny yeah uh, we well he also could be a good source of plasma for Mike for uh, Michael when he becomes a vampire and at least he can be able to accomplish more he can start a family. I don't know. I'll think about it because there can only be room for one vampire. Well, then again, Jeff likes being a vampire too. So, Travis, why are you the only one still awake? Well, I guess we'll send you to space. Continue the search, Travis. Bring us a cow plant seed. I also fished one up before, which was really lucky. So that's also an option. I was fishing in the spellcaster, and I and it was one of the things I fished up. I don't think it has like increased chances there, but at least it's in my game. Oh, where is he in life? Oh, he's got plenty of time left to accomplish something in his life. Is that me? Yeah, synth landing. Yeah, why am I sleeping outside? Is this my bed? Yeah, it's my bed. Get in there. Why am I sleeping outside in the winter cold when I could be in my nice warm bed? Oh yeah, this is where I put the extra beds. So they're not sleeping outside. Who sleeps in here? Jeff and Travis. Just put them in the basement. Repairs, okay. Gotta speed things up. We can't get Jeff! To the east, a jazz series of rocks. This is what Taurus is fighting in the sky. Trevor's laying in the lobby of signs of life. Brave the mountains, Travis. Grow a pair of balls. Jeff, go to bed. Spot of the summit. These mountains would break most sims, but thanks to Travis' good physical condition, <laughs> despite his age, 
He eventually makes it makes his way to the summit. The curl of smoke he spotted earlier. The, uh, the ship tries to make the pilot out of there. He can scavenge suitable part for his own ship. Sca scavenge parts. We can use that. Upgrade our ship. Holy crap, there's so many seeds. Why are there so many seeds? Then I think we'll bring Travis back. Oh yeah, then I try to change the weather. This is a little scavenge. Travis knows his way around the machine. Doesn't take long to figure out the only components. There's a part, not like catalyzer, but it should do the trick. So we can still get to the ship before he falls. Time to have a common space rock. Didn't we upgrade our ship at all? Why am I awake? Get back to sleep. Travis? That was a good trip. Uh, how about we expand the cargo bay? Get to work on the ship, Travis. We're gonna pull an all-nighter. Why do I keep waking up? Get back to sleep. Is there something waking me up? Go to bed. And should we have Michael try for a baby? Maybe we should do that after he becomes a vampire. Then he'll have a vampire child. Like feed off his mother. <laughs> Or Travis. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> Travis is going to be a source of plasma. Whether he likes it or not. Man, poor Travis. He has such a miserable life. <laughs> ah, Travis. We love you. You're loved. Oh, he's freezing. He's gonna freeze to death. Hold on, change your outfit, Travis. Yeah, let's change the mood. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Winter outfit. And you know what? I think I'm gonna have I'm gonna wake up Jeff. And we're gonna make him something special. We gotta undo the mistake. Yeah, let's make him some. Br Actually, he's vegetarian. So, uh, why am I awake? All right, I'm gonna cook him. Jeff will make him. Yeah, signature cake. And why am I awake? Go to sleep. Four four. Why do I keep waking up? Is something waking me up? Oh, that. Okay, now I should stay asleep. What we're gonna do is Jeff's gonna make his signature cake, and when Travis gets back, he's gonna eat it all. Wow, a golden planet. Yeah, attempt landing. And we're gonna get some meat back on his body like fatten him up because he really needs to be fat <laughs> we made the guy too freaking skinny treasure 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 adrenaline landfill a junkyard for broken spacecraft few treasures dead space squid dead space porcupine wow that's some uh worthy treasure to find <laughs> from a golden planet's junk field okay <sighs> of all the things, Travis, of all the things, you grab dead aliens. What made you think, out of all the aliens' parts and garbage and other things you could probably find there of interest, you had to pick dead aliens? Alright, let's bring. Oh, this dead space squid would be pretty cool. <laughs> why not? Let's bring back a dead squid, because why the hell not? Oy vey. Travis, you worry me, man. There you go, Jeff. We'll leave that cake out for him. And he's going to eat it all. And he shouldn't worry about diabetes because he is skinny. Nope. Jeff, that's not for you. It's not yours. 
You made it, but it's not for you. And when he gets back, he'll eat it. He'll be back with his precious dead squid that for some reason he had to have. Oh, my, my fame. I'm losing my fame. I need to make a tweet. Travis. Okay, first take a piss. And then eat your cake. And then you're going back to space. Well, he's getting pretty tired. Never mind. Go, Travis. Or go all the way down there. That works. <sighs> Jeff! We need you to repair the freaking toilet! <laughs> Wake up! No, I'm going back to sleep. There's no radio, so there's no excuse. How soon we'll live the good life. I promise you. We went from living in a park to moving to someone's home. But soon we'll live in a very, very big place. Oh, summer's losing fame too. Hey. Better not have took a cake. Do not take the cake. No. No, definitely not you, Michael. Nuh-uh. Put that down. I know that you love chocolate cake. <laughs> it feels just like him to wake up and just go straight for the chocolate cake. And Jeff still has to fix the damn toilet. No, Michael, you're gonna eat apples. You're eating an apple, not chocolate cake. Is there a reward that makes them never go hungry again? Forever full. Yeah, if I get 10,000. Michael will never need to eat again. That might work for him, actually. Well, it won't matter for long once he's a vampire. So, Michael, eat your apples. Eat your apples. You're probably gonna shit a lot, but that's okay. No. Okay, that cake is. Yeah, okay, fine. Jeff, no. Stop it. It's not yours. Travis eats the whole cake. It's his, not yours. You're going to instead. You're going to make breakfast for everybody. And we're gonna have pancakes. That, that's some kind of cake, at least. But Travis, he's going to have an entire <laughs> cake to himself. Michael's not going to be happy, but oh well. If anyone's going to be eating a whole chocolate cake, it's going to be Travis. Because we made the poor bastard way too skinny. I still could go with the idea of making him fat and then just having him lose weight. But unfortunately, we can't. Mm -hmm. Michael? Did Jeff fix the toilet? No, he, no, Michael. No chocolate cake. Well, you have work, so. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, I got him fixing his <laughs> breakfast. Fine, we'll replace it. Wait. Travis, where'd you go? Oh, he's still eating the cake. Quit talking to Jeff and eat your cake. You got some weight to lose. Stop being the... No, okay, fine. You can have that. Pay bills? 6,000? Why is it 6,000? No, I want to see my bills. A lot taxes. Okay. Well, Michael's going to take a while for his dream. Alright, fine. Pay the bills. And I'll figure something else out. Is it working? Is Travis getting fat? Oh, no, you don't. Okay, fine. Do the trash. Okay. 
I thought you were going. She was going for the cake. And do you, my dear? Uh, brew. Or not? Okay. Uh. Yeah, plentiful needs. Go for it. That'll be real useful. Give it to Michael when he comes back. Yes, Travis. Eat the cake. Get fat. I want you big. Well, seems to be working. His waist is a little wide, but not doing anything for his arms. Alright, one more piece. Okay, fine. That'll be enough. Actually, yeah, eat it. Fine, go right ahead. Oh, is vegetarian safe? Well, so much for gaining weight. How about cake's cake? Oh, it's gonna be a decent payday. There's gotta be another way to make some money. Hmm. While we wait for Michael. Travis, like, you'll sleep after finishing your cake. You get to eat that too. Nope. All right, shower. Actually, you know what? If when the oh yep, yeah, the potion's done. Good. Drink. Drink from it, Travis. And may you never have to be a normal person ever again. Just drink potions for the rest of your life, Travis. Continue the upgrade. And Jeff will help you. Or not. Oh crap, I'm late. I gotta wake up. I get pancakes. I gotta go. Yes, Jeff. Good. Good. Wait, what's up with your face? Just notice his face is very liney. Is it always like that? Did you always have mix of color stripes on your face? I don't know. I guess so. Everyone doesn't fails to realize that we are immortal. And eventually we'll be able to take their houses. <laughs> I think we should move in with a friend of ours. You know what? I'm gonna do that. We're going to put the rocket ship in our house inventory, and we're going to visit an old friend, and we're going to move in with him. I don't know if he'll be happy about that. Should I bring Travis? Should I even... Should I bring everybody here, or leave them here? I guess I can bring them. Maybe Travis at the very least. Yeah, let's all move out. Though it's will it be more expensive. Let's visit and have a look. Come on, Travis. Work harder. Hey, does he have work? Nope, he's off, but he goes to work tomorrow. Clayton! Speaking of which, there's Clayton! Jeff. Talk to him. You haven't met Clayton yet? You haven't spoken to freaking Clayton yet. Find a collectible, I don't really care. Oh, Clayton left. Well, we're gonna visit you later. Oh, he's level 9? Huh. This is just a side job, and when Michael gets back, we're gonna focus on making him into a vampire. Alright, he finished upgrading the rocket. 
Go back to space. Continue the hunt for the seed. I know we can clone that with magic. And we'll have two cow plants. I really want a cow plant. I love cow plants. I think I have five on my regular <laughs> on my regular game. Strip belt, traffic levels up and yeah, yeah. When does Michael go? Begins. Now the beats of feeling you like scamming? Sure. When do you get out of work, Michael? In a few, in just a few hours. And I love that water and that's an empty can. Oh well. Let's see, how many spells does she know? Try to communicate. Uh, where's your spells? Ooh. Well, she's almost a master. I remember she learned enough to be able to save Michael from from the dead. Sheesh, we're outliving almost everybody here. Oh yeah, she has to do paintings. Nice to meet you. Found a space rock. I don't care about rocks. I want cow plant seeds. Anyway, where's her spell book? Huh? Oh, do I click on you for that? Yes, okay. Oh, she hasn't learned anything. Oh, everything. But we, we she has copy paste though. Cool. Now if I teach her repair, yo, she can repair stuff and Jeff doesn't have to. And we can have instant meals. Alright, and she can make a new one spellcaster. Alright then. Ah. How about you practice some magic? Uh, da -da -da, practice magic. Practice about <laughs> mischief. Why not? Travis, you go back into space. And Michael is going to be home very soon. Very, very soon. And he is going to get himself a He's going to look up vampires. Michael must discover the existence of vampires. Space duel. We don't have any weapons, but sure, go for it, Travis. Michael got a promotion! Congratulations, Michael! 44 an hour. Nice. Attack. Nice, Michael. Nice. Oh, yeah, I was a police officer, wasn't I? Wait, wait is that the job I get? Wait, what? Development captain, and I'm dressed as an officer? Anyway. Whatever. No, stop it. No, not being mean. Good thing I caught that before he said anything. That would damage their relationship. Ah, that's a bug we're still waiting to get patched. For some reason I'm taking the time. Let's go to the library and see if Michael can find any useful information and discover the existence of vampires. And then I'm going to see if we can move in with Clayton. Any has anything? Let's see. It's time of sandwiches. Can you imagine we actually see Michael's books here? Lord of the Swings, Mixology, Comedy, Mischief, Vampire. Read Vampire Volume. Do they actually have vampire books here? Huh. Michael went to the library one day. Discovered an unusual tweet. This is when he will discover that vampires existed. And he will look into it to see if vampires are mm. still around. And how and see if he himself can become a vampire. And he can live forever. Uh -huh. <sighs> okay. Discover vampire secrets. Deep into researching vampires. Need to be a lot of knowledge in the Unlocked vampire tomb. 
Let's vampire pointer while search for vamp while searching for vampires. You can now purchase. You can just go to the dark web and buy vampire books. <laughs> Is Michael famous hell? Oh yeah, he's a one star and he's almost two. Maybe I think if he posts something on Twitter, he will get this two stars. You'll be a famous. You'll be a talented. Uh, I've read the talent vampires can turn other Sims into vampires. A mortal sim can ask the right to turn them, provided they know the vampire well enough. And now Michael knows what he has to do. He'll become the world's first vampire <laughs> book writer for children. <laughs> Yeah, all right, Michael can finish reading that book, get all the knowledge he can, and then he will hunt for vampires. I read that there is a special drink con concoction that allows vampires to walk in the daylight for a minute time. Keep leveling up. Discover plasma packs. You know, there is an alternative method for vampires, that's why they're third. So now order plasma packs. Powerful for 10 vampires can pass on experience as soon as they turn. Interesting. Michael knows what he has to do. But he must continue to read. He needs all the knowledge he can get before he becomes a vampire. No, Michael, continue reading about vampires. You need to become a vampire and you need to know all you need to know. Oh, Michael, what did you do with it? Oh, you kept it. He needs to get the secrets leveled up. Plasma pack, yeah, we know. Red of vampires can be during the day as long as they have a ceiling over their head, which stops the most powerful sense rules. And she can go. No, Michael! No! Keep reading! What happens if he analyzes? Analyze the book, Michael. So apparently he has a vampire brain or something. Not a vampire brain. Alien. I don't know. Mechanical brain. I don't know. I have no idea why I said that. Then he needs to get more apples. Oh, he has a, he has a plentiful need, so he can drink that. I should have packed more before he left. Eh, he'll be fine. <laughs> Michael, you fool! Get Get that book back. Egypto? You need it. Yes. Egypto. Keep reading it, Michael. Discovered garlic braid, Michael read that there's primitive ways of warding by oh wait, vampires by making garlic braids. All the vampire tomb is exhausted. Everything could be learned. Vampire volume two, the computer. Okay. Let's see if they have volume two. Now they have volume one. Volume one. Volume one. Volume one. Well, Michael, I think I might have another idea where we can find you a tomb. We must go to your wife's world. And there, we can check their library. And it's the biggest possibility. Because if they're all magic and it's an ancient place, they'll no doubt have info on vampires. And I think a spellcaster can fight a vampire too. Travel to the magic realm, Mar uh, Michael. Why did I say that? <laughs> Markiplier just randomly popped in my head. Flirt with Travis? Why the hell do you. Dude, you're married. Why do you want to flirt with Travis? 
You're not flirting with Travis. What is wrong with you, Michael? Seriously? No, we're getting rid of that. And I can't get rid of it, of course. Anyway, let's check their library. Yeah. Two magical aura. Come on, we gotta have something here. Okay, I guess this is a bad idea. Anyway, Michael can find. He needs to get more. He needs to buy another book. We must get home. Get to the computer. And Michael can continue to read and get learn vampire secrets. A step closer to becoming a vampire. So we're gonna we're gonna bottle up all of those. It'll help keep them from, you know, eating things and getting fat. So he's gonna borrow his wife's concoction. And now get to the computer, Michael, and let nobody see you. Um. So where is it? Vampire secrets. Purchase tombs. Volume 2. Pretty pricey, Michael. Purchase now is in his inventory. Now, Michael, continue your studying. Learn all there is to know about vampires. Learn of where you can find one. But for now, that is all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Next episode, we're going to focus on making Michael a vampire. Travis I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. Farewell, everybody.